Hi, this is Megan Keane from Avid Artist Relations here in Las Vegas, Nevada for NAB 2011. And I'm here with Steve Gobb, who is a co-producer, and Gary Rizzo, who's the re-recording mixer on Tron Legacy. Um, so you guys uh, actually were here at the show yesterday. Um, you just got off our main stage, but what, did you, what have you seen at the show? What's been some of the highlights? Uh, well, yesterday was my production day, so it was a lot of the new cameras. The Sony F65 is very exciting. Uh, Red always has interesting new things, and uh, a lot of people are talking about Airy Raw and what that image is going to look like, so I'm interested in doing going back home and doing some camera tests. Awesome. Well, uh, I'm the audio geek here, so I'm always checking out new microphones. So I've been hanging out over at uh, Neumann for a little bit, and uh, and uh, I've been hanging out over at Dolby for a little bit. They're, they're continuing to push 7.1, which I think is a pretty cool surround, multi-channel surround sound format. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I've been doing. And so, obviously, the, a big buzz thing that's going on at the show is 3D. So I'm sure a lot of the crowd that came for your presentation just now were interested in the 3D side of things. Yeah. Where, where do you guys think that 3D is going um, with all of the new technology that's developing? Uh, it's only improving. I mean, the, the cameras improve, which help, but also the technologies to deliver better 3D help. Um, improvement in the camera rigs, uh, improvement in media storage and compression, and then all the way down to editorial. I know Avid is uh, working aggressively on 3D tools, so it helps all the way through the pipe and hopefully will ultimately deliver better 3D product. And Gary, for you, is there any different techniques, any sort of tricks uh, in Pro Tools when you're working in 3D that's different than when you're working in not in 3D? Well, I, I think that uh, typically what will happen is that you see that 3D image for the first time, and no matter how much time or effort you've put into your mix, you, you have those glasses on, it puts a smile on your face, and you say, we gotta, we got to do more. But you just got to have more fun with it. You make it maybe a little bit louder, you put a little bit more in the surround, you make the subwoofer a little bit more bold. You, you do things to your mix that maybe uh, 3D will encourage you to just go a little bit further, I think, which is great creatively. Well, awesome. Thank you guys so much for taking the time. Um, I'm excited for the presentation later today, too. Um, and if the, if the uh, people watching want to learn more about Tron, uh, haven't seen the film yet, where, where can they go? Uh, well, they can start with uh, Disney's website. That'll take you to the Tron link because I can't remember right off the top of my head. Um, and the Blu-ray just came out last Tuesday, so we would love everybody to go out and buy the Blu-ray set because the more... Uh, the more Blu-rays we sell, the greater chance there is going to be a Tron 3. Awesome. Hoping for that. Well, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for more from NAV 2011.